think uh, we are uh, let me uh, reflect the mind of the doctors who are listening to this because majority of the time it's like a practitioner who is running a clinic or he is uh, working in a hospital and then having a clinic and or a small hospital so he is thinking that oh what are these two guys telling how do i apply this and with your mind concept or uh, basically i am uh, now fixated to earning with my time so as a small practitioner i cannot uh, become uh, pratap reddy of apollo or uh, the uh, my pulse as they of center for psych so how as a small player also how can i apply this concept to my practice so how can i apply uh, okay how can i see i am not a big person i am just a regular practitioner and i am not a businessman or an entrepreneur so how does this concept really apply to me so how can i apply this concept of earn with your mind so uh, maybe uh, can we elaborate a little bit more for this practitioner was thinking this concept is beyond my reach i i i don't think this concept is beyond anybody's reach it is uh, the biggest uh, again again the biggest challenge in life for all of us is um, unlearning okay the first if you are willing to unlearn then uh, as i said uh, nobody has said that you need to make a very big uh, hospital that's the only uh, uh, objective and uh, one should have in life but you need to have time freedom and need to have cash flow and it is very easy for a doctor to create cash flow it's very easy and that requires little bit of uh, understanding little bit of listening little and also the next thing as i said uh, uh, partnering with non medicos is a very important part it's very very important to give different perspectives and uh, collaboration is again a very very important part okay how yes. to hire new doctors is a question that i think i can't answer only dr uh, senthil will have some ideas on yeah that. yeah so basically i think just to elaborate on this concept of earn with your mind let's say i am a practitioner running a hospital so basically i can think of ways like okay uh, i earn uh, say 50000 rupees every month so and am i investing this money properly so i think even that is a way to think use your mind to kind of uh, start uh, thinking about uh, earning with your mind so basically let's say even if i make 10000 rupees extra am i investing it properly even i think that is a way to kind of uh, uh, think about earning with your mind and maybe can i uh, collaborate with somebody as you said like uh, maybe a friend who runs another business can i collaborate with them or can i join with another three doctors who are starting a hospital there and offer my uh, kind of a service or my investment there so he can kind of uh, uh, just by, by my contribution in that hospital can i earn some more money and uh, so maybe things like that or can i create a small uh, medical instrument or an ophthalmic instrument which can actually uh, kind of uh, uh, give me perpetual income or can i create a software i think lot of ways to think of earning with my mind or can i invest in a eye hospital chain or maybe can i buy some shares of uh, uh, this large eye care chain we don't have to have a lot of money for that but can i invest a little bit of money or can i create a program for uh, diabetic uh, screening like uh, can i create some kind of a model or can i collaborate with the optical shop i think lots of ways to think about earning with your mind whether you are a small practitioner or a big uh, hospital owner i think uh, if you apply and start thinking on those lines uh, this concept of earning with your mind becomes very clear and that is the only way to have this see whatever we are talking is not about only earning money i, I don't want people to mistake that we are focused here only on money but basically it is about creating an enterprise creating something which the world will pay for us so basically something which is not existing or something which is existing but we create it in a better way so that people also get benefited out of that and money is going to be a by product of that and after as per dr uh, mr dharmendra said once you have that uh, financial freedom i think a uh, lot of things will fall in place you have this time freedom you have a lot of freedom which also can help you do other things in life so i hope uh, uh, you have understood this concept of 
first thing is we have to understand we have to accept that we are renting our time we are running basically majority of the doctors 99 percent of them are uh, earning because of renting your time your time is giving you the money but if you think on the left side of this uh, chat i think this is the most important uh, point you have to think about when you're kind of uh, wanting to really achieve that uh, success and be the smartest person or uh, achieve something really big in life. Sir, I would also uh, like yes. to ask, I would also like to ask one more question to all of you. Uh, how much money do you think is required for a person today in India to live a lifestyle of, uh, let's say, uh, 2 lakhs rupees per month lifestyle? So whatever Tulex buys reasonable amount of stuff every month, uh, I would just want you to put a guess and put a number up there. Uh, how much do you think is needed so that you can, whatever be your age, and if you live to live in 100, uh, how much, uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> how much do you think is required for living your entire life? Okay, uh, the same lifestyle that you're living today. Let's say it's a 2 lakhs, 2.5 lakhs lifestyle. Uh, how much would be required? Can you Can you just put a number over there? And you just put a number. How much? I just want to know what is in your mind because see, this is where we go wrong. You know, we sometimes think the number is too 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 large, and then we are uh, we go. So Dr. Manoj has started with eight crores. Okay, I would like to have at least ten people answering. There's twenty crores. Okay, I would like more answers. Please answer. This is going to make a big difference. Oh, we have one crore also. Okay, there's twenty crores again. There's ten crores. Okay, okay. 4 crores, 10 crores, 10 crores. Now, this is a very easy question. I, I want more participation. A lot will depend on your answers over here. You will get the biggest enlightenment of your life today in the next 10 minutes, 5 minutes. Yeah. Never imagine. But yeah, but still, what do you ima imagine now at this point? People are saying 10, 20, 30. So you, you put a number over there. 12 crores, 20 crores, 20 crores. I think majority are thinking 20 crores. Oh, majority are thinking 20 crores. Now, let me tell you, uh, the biggest enlightenment will come to you right now is that the amount is not in the area of 3 to 4 crores. Okay, amount is in the area of 3 to 4 crores. Now, that brings me to the point that many of you would be having 3 to 4 crores already. Either it must be there in terms of a land or it must be land plus money or land plus gold plus money or only money. Most of you will be in the 3 to 4 crore would be have, you'll be having. Uh, okay, now basically which means that 4 crore, if you shut your clinic also and you live the same life, you live it till the end of your life, even if you live till 90. Now this is a big enlightenment and it changed my life when I realized it. Okay, and I'm sure it will make a big difference because once you realize that this is the money that you need, then automatically you don't need to work for money. You start working for a purpose. Okay, now let me define a purpose to you. Now, there's a very important thing. We all talk about vision and mission. Okay, uh, what, can can anybody over here uh, write uh, what uh, if uh, what could what, an example of a vision? Can anybody write an example of a vision? When I say purpose, vision, can you give an example? Again, you will get enlightened at this point also. Now, you've already got enlightened. There's 20 crores, 12 crores has all reduced to one third. Okay, for 10, 12 crores, it has come down to one third. 20 crores is further come down. It's only three to four crores. Okay. So can you, uh, and can you, can anybody say, give me an example of a vision? No, example of a vision. I have a vision to do this. Can you give any example? No more. See, imagine all of us are working so hard every day, but we don't have a defined a purpose or a vision. Because we are thinking that valuation to operate uh, 10,000 cases per year, vision to serve everyone. Okay, these are good. Okay, fine. These are good visions. Okay. Uh, making substance change the work area or your interest. So this vision to serve everyone is a vision, truly. But tell me one thing. To build a medical college is a vision. Any vision in the world, any vision, 
can never be done by a single person. So even if you are the best ophthalmologist of the whole world, you can't achieve a vision. Okay, to achieve vision, you need a team. You need a, something called leverage. You need people. So somebody, uh, let's say several years back, people were crossing the river. They were swimming and crossing the river. Okay, every, everybody was swimming and crossing the river. You need to be a good swimmer. You need to be a good practitioner. But then one person thought that why can't I build a boat? Why can't I build a boat? If I build a boat, then more people will cross the river. So when he builds a boat, he needs the help of at least 30, 40, 50 people to build a boat. Then the guy thinks that now I want hundreds of people, maybe 200 people to cross over. So let me build a ship. Now for ship, he requires maybe hundreds and 200, much more people to come together to build a ship. Then a guy thinks that why build a ship? Why build a, I want to build a bridge. Okay, I want to build a bridge. So all our visions, right from boat to ship to build, building a bridge are all visions. But every vision requires to work with people. And who will work with you? If you can paint that vision in front of somebody else's eyes and say, imagine if we had a bridge, then you don't have to go in a boat. You don't have to go at a particular time when the boat starts or you don't have to book a ticket for the, uh, for the, for the ship. All you need to do is just cross over whenever you want to cross over. So if people, he'll rally people around that vision and then they will also make a business plan, which of course will give them money also. And only then things get done. So, so basically the whole game of scale is rallying people around you, using other people's talent, using other people's time, using other people's skill, collaborating. Without this, wealth will never come our way. It may come for a fleeting point of time if you are a very rare doctor doing a surgery where you charge something like 5 lakhs or 10 lakhs with your margin being 9 lakhs or 8 lakhs and you are able to do that for a long time. It's a very, not everybody doesn't do that. Okay, there aren't too many people. But if a few are there, they also will get tired. They will get bored of what they are doing at some point. And even if they do it, their life will become meaningless doing it every time. Okay, because they may not want to do it every time. Okay, and uh, so the point is, it's very important to understand that uh, we need to have a vision and working with people, leveraging is the path to wealth. And hence, a lot of unlearning is required. A lot of unlearning, a lot of early sacrifices are required. A practitioner always, uh, you know, he works with the intention of earning, paying off his costs and making his margin as big as possible. A businessman and a... And a uh, entrepreneur always works uh, with a project in mind, a vision in mind and willing to put money up front even if it means that he is putting money out of his pocket for a couple of years. And that is how the uh, unlearning is required. So I think uh, with this, I brought in a couple of new concepts. One is of vision, purpose and a second is leverage, which again and I'll tell you one thing, that repetition is the friend of learning. So even if we do these sessions 10 times, you'll realize that uh, both Senthil sir and I will keep repeating many things in different language with different examples. The real, you know, There's no way we can come with 100 new ideas. Finally, it is a few ideas, a few wisdom points which are there. And they are all, we also have picked up from the great writers in the world. So it's not that, you know, we've manufactured it, but we've just fall. we have kind of sub, uh, um, surrendered ourselves to these kind of think, thinking and we follow them. And hence, we like to, uh, our objective is to help you guys and with new thoughts. And uh, as, as I think Dr. Senthil and I, both of us are financially free, clearly financially free. And we can live this, our life till God gives us life to live. Uh, so whatever time is left for us, the idea is to come and help and teach people. And as a consequence of teaching, certainly some amount of money will follow us also, which we don't shut our doors to that. But the point is, the larger point is we work because of a purpose of teaching. You should also practice because for the purpose of practicing and the money should come automatically and much more. So I would like to emphasize on this point and I'll be very happy to get some, some, some of you all to reflect on what we are talking. Yeah, I think we are in the middle of the program. We are almost one hour now. Uh, so basically vision, I thought I was also thinking what should be my vision and or what should be the vision of myself and Dharmendra sir. Basically, I thought maybe to empower at least thousand doctors. 
so thousand doctors if we can educate them on the financial prudence and then if we can help them uh, skill to scale i think uh, that can be a really interesting uh, vision which uh, we can have and i think we are already reaching out to a lot of doctors and uh, so maybe some inputs from the uh, audience because there is I one from pradeep reddy sir if you can answer him our mindset is to grow our hospital and even if we hire good doctors but their mindset won't be matching with us they feel and work as salaried employee how to manage and explain to them so this is what pradeep shetty is asking would you like to answer this yeah i think first thing is we should change the mindset that they are going to be our salaried employees uh, basically that is the biggest uh, when we are employ appointing a doctor why don't we think him as a partner and because uh, nowadays the biggest problem for doctors is many because there is a huge uh, number of corporate chains which are coming in and they offer more salaries and uh, working in a corporate chain is considered more respectable than working with a colleague so basically we can overcome that problem only if we consider everybody as a partner and if we have proven that uh, we are somebody who uh, who will be also not seeing the other doctor as a competitor and seeing him as a partner to grow with basically see like uh, even if you uh, like how do these auditors or how do these lawyers work or how do these investment bankers work is whenever they take in they call them as a partner they don't call them as an employee when a junior joins an investment firm he is always called as a partner and why is he a partner because he takes a profit percentage of the salary per percentage of the profits which is generated by the company and also by himself so i think if that mindset changes that we consider everybody as a partner and then try to reach that out to the doctors and really consider them as a partner think that okay if he earns more also it's fine but i can earn 20% from 10% of them that gives me 200% let them earn 80% uh, other way is thinking that uh, the biggest problem is like uh, we always think that oh, he might uh, cheat me and leave and he might uh, uh, kind of uh, <clears throat> start his own center i, I gave this example of uh, dr debashish in uh, uh, disha hospital where there are so many doctors i think 120 doctors who work in disha and each of them is considered like a partner though the organize not not in uh, in the theoretical sense but they have the ownership of the hospital and they get a part of what they earn and it's like 120 small hospitals working in inside a large banner so if somebody can do it in kolkata or west bengal i think it can be done elsewhere also so i think it is the mindset change I, we will i think we should discuss that on a separate uh, topic because today we are not talking about only that employee part uh, maybe that can be